Okay, welcome to part two of uh, installing Arch Linux Midfinger Edition. Uh, we're going to talk about this time uh, changing the user and also moving everything to the username home folder to retain all the settings uh, with a couple of tweaks. So the first thing you might want to do is uh, if you don't want to change anything, at least change the password. So you can do like a sudo password and then midfinger, change it to whatever, and password's updated. Okay, I'm going to change it back to guest right now. Now we'll log out. And we'll get the uh, just the command screen here, okay. And from here, we'll just do the uh, su, and we're going to uh, add a, a temporary user so we can man manipulate uh, some files. So from here, we'll just do a basic user add dash m dash g users dash capital G, and then wheel is good enough for now, and then a dash s, and then slash bin, whoops, and slash bash, and we'll call it test, it doesn't matter, create a password for the test, and test, test, test is good enough, whatever, it doesn't matter, call it anything you want. Now we're going to exit out of the user here, and we're going to log in as the new test user. And SU again. Okay. And what we want to do is uh, move the uh, directory. So we use a uh, user MOD uh, space MD, move directory, slash home, slash the new name, and the old name. Now, if you ls slash home, you can see now that a new name, Dan, is uh, has been created. Okay. Now, when you uh, that that's just the folder. We haven't changed the username yet, so it's a uh, user mode mod again slash l, and it should be a uh, new name, old name, I think. Okay, and then from here, we will change the password. I'll choose whatever you want. And we exit, exit, and we'll log in as the new user and the new password. Start X, press enter. Now, if you open the home folder, you can see it's been renamed to the user that we had. There are a couple of things, though. Um, some of the keyboard shortcuts and stuff haven't been uh, copied over in a couple of startup items. So I'll press the, uh, if Synapse is working for you, press control space and we'll do a session and startup, press enter and auto start. Uh, if you want comp key to auto start, you can, or not, you can uncheck it, but it, to change it, you're going to have to edit it, edit this and where it says mid finger, you change that to the new user you you created and press OK. And this one, uh, no blank is for uh, uh, stopping uh, XFCE going blank, uh, the screen going blank. Uh, I don't know why it's not been fixed, but so we'll just edit that again. We'll edit this where the script is. It's now not. It's no longer under mid finger. It's under the new user. Press OK. And everything else uh, should be fine. Anything else you add from the, here on in will be uh, added with the new username. Again, a Synapse uh, keyboard. Shortcuts. Now it's going to uh, prompt you for uh, editing this. So we're going to edit. Now it's going to ask you for confirmation of the pre uh of the keyboard so it's control alt 
and change here control alt and what is that exclamation mark no a single quote and so we want the one that's highlighted use that okay so it's just the uh, conky scripts okay so just a couple of uh, just one keyboard shortcut and a couple of uh, startup items and you should be good to go so we uh, log out and restart you can double check that everything's working should mention too if you want to get rid of this uh, reminder when you are trying out the live disk uh, if you want to get rid of the username and password I'll uh, do that as well so anyway new user new password so let's just do a sudo uh, leafpad etsy and then the word uh, issue you see here that's where I just put that in username and so we'll just take that delete control s to save and quit exit all right, so that's it for this one, and as always, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.